Welcome back to Vintage Interloper, the long dark. We've just packed up our cabin here at Coastal Highway. We've been kind of using this as like a little satellite base. Uh, but just running the beach, combing here, I think uh, we we're 49%, almost 50% on this second bear hide curing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything into our permanent region base which is the garage in town. I've got a couple pieces of meat plus a fish I need to cook. Uh, looks like we've got another fish on the line here. So let's take care of this right quick. Very good. Do we have any bait ready? No, this is all old bait, right? Yeah. Okay. It looks like they were biting on the lure. Um, I don't think I need to bring this guy. Okay. It looks like, uh... There you are. Dropped our... I, I appreciate that, because if, uh, there is a wolf following us, we'll drop all of the non-food sources first. Uh, we can cook this fish, by the way. Thank you guys so much for being here. We are, the big struggle right now is mentally staying mentally active in the game because we're doing pretty well. We've got plenty of food, as you could see. Uh, we've got a decent, like, defense system set up of flare slash torch and, you know, making sure that uh, wolves won't come get us, even though you can see right here, we've got two scent bars on us, which will draw a wolf uh, from across the map. I have no doubts. The fact that there's none out here on the ice as we are speaking makes me think that they are all in town, which not the coolest. Uh, if you're wondering, the wolf, where we found our arrow, was right over here. It still should be laying there, actually. Uh, we walked up on that looking for the memento cache. And stumbled upon our arrow. And I don't know what this means. But it doesn't look good. Visibility all of a sudden... Depleted, and I can imagine here around midday we might start seeing some sort of weather. And of course, we got the ominous music set the tone. I'm gonna start hustling here. I think the town's... I always think it's closer than it is. I do like the music in-game. In I know uh, some people prefer to play it off and just immerse themselves fully in the footprints, the foot sounds, the wolves off in the distance but um you know we just call it like our little ipod that uh solar charges you can see the mountains are coming back silhouettes visibility might be returning here you know what we should have done and what i might still do is put a tip up here closer to our town because yeah i think we've got well over a hundred thousand calories sitting right there yep look at this guy so what we're gonna do is if we have one which we do just get that prepared Can we avoid them? Nope. I'm 
I'm glad he's out here on the ice, though, and not in town. As long as he's following us, though, there's not going to be any, like, joining the attack, if that makes sense. Uh, we can, I'm pretty sure if we get far enough away, we'll, we'll switch wolves. So if we, like, stumble right upon one. Um, but I might want this guy to follow us for a while. Yes, we are not... Not the most intelligent move we made here. Being as that we're... Is there a bear somewhere? Is it just my wolfskin jacket that scared him away? Um, anyways, it's not the smartest. We're only about half... Half of our condition bar, which means a wolf attack is likely going to be fatal. We do have confident confidence in our abilities, but just like season one, we rolled up over a hill uh, to meet our demise. I am going to try and avoid that at all costs, uh, but that is a risk. And jeez, I don't. My sneaking suspicions were are proving to be correct here. There we go. We're crying out loud, man. Uh, yes, everybody's here. I must smell like absolute death, and the wolfskin jacket is just so damn scary. Uh, Humble Tracker, thank you very much for the tip. I'm gonna get inside before we talk about this. Um, but carrying the hatchet as opposed to the hacksaw. It makes so much sense, and I did not... I did not do that. Um, so unfortunately... I can't break down a bunch of things like these wooden crates or the pallets outside or things like that. Uh, what we can do... Throw all these things down. Uh, I'm just trying to get... into the food here. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Crazy. Guts are just... your priority. Okay... We did have some fish here. We do have some cooked bear meat. Super awesome. Uh, we have this guy. Oh yeah, we left the uh, we left the other fish. Okay. Oh, that's cured. So let's put the non-cured one so we can look at it. This guy's also cured. These two are still curing, I believe. Fresh. Yes. Okay. We've got three cured guts, which will join these guys eventually. We also have... A couple of our saplings for arrows. Uh, this guy's here. Did I leave enough space? I did not, so looks like they get to go up here. Getting her sorted. A lot more storage space around here. Plenty of toolboxes and what have you. Plus, we're going to take that. We've got an arrow to break down. Oh, these are fire-hardened arrows, which means we can get a crow feather from them. Okay.
I mean, whatever it takes, right? Man, it's breaking so much stuff there. Got our quality tools here so we can rebuild arrows, make lures, all that fun stuff. Do we have anything in here? Let's actually take these out. So we know we have them. Okay, yes, we do have some a cedar log so we can get a little bit of a fire going. We have our coal. And then the big deal, we have all our sticks. Which I would like to get out and about and just do like a massive water session out here. Um, so we'll just prepare this in case we need it. It'd be nice if we had a hatchet. But obviously not that season. Because we could have just came out here and hacked all these pallets down. But instead, we've got to venture out. And find firewood that's willing to take a hacksaw for the smaller branches around here. The crappy thing about it is this is like an hour plus worth of work. Hour and a half. It's cold. And there are wolves around. And I'm not sure if a wolf will attack you in the middle of hacking up. Some firewood. I would believe there to be. You know, they can attack you while you're cooking and and resting and making tea. So I can only assume that it's not safe to cut up firewood. I didn't bring a heavy hammer. Uh, because I said the only forge I need to use is in uh, the Forlorn Musk Egg. So I can't just hustle over to the Riken and, and make uh, another hatchet. I've got to return all the way to our main base. Get a heavy hammer. So just some some pre-100 day mistakes happening here. Luckily there's plenty of uh, sticks in the area. Looks like I didn't hit the visors. Okay, I did search that though. And did I? Yes, I had a pry bar for the trunk. Oh, look at that guy. Okay. To do a lot of storage here. We could hack this down for eight scrap metal uh i don't know i don't know if that's worth it huh sticks whatever i guess we can it's cooked though 1300 calories very nice uh we'll throw this guy on here but first things first i think we need to just jump into some water start fire yeah now it's a long shot, but uh, you never know. You can start them in a fish hut with a magnifying glass. Let me use virtually all the firewood we have. What what uh, if we run out? Then that's when we'll stop making water and food. <sighs> oh, that's okay. Let's put our weapon away. Calm down here. Just a little bit. Move these guys. 
That way they're not confusing us. I say that like I might eventually get confused, but I'm pretty aware of... Ooh, I threw these way out there, didn't I? I can actually break these down by hand. That's awesome. Um, sheesh. Hour and a half to do that. I think we can risk it. Yeah, for six. Let's go ahead and risk it. Do I have enough water? Yes. Do I have enough food? Yes. Do we have enough light? Maybe. I got grease fire. Yeah, there. What I want. Big busy work at the moment. But we can stock up this area. We have everything that we need. Who knows? And maybe this run, you know, will be so set that I can finally explore these regions. Like most of the regions, aside from Mystery Lake, which you knew from one of the previous episodes, I just found like new locations there. I haven't really survived long enough to explore much of any of this game. Let's start our stocking adventures. Uh, stockpiling adventures. I don't like, uh, I don't like stocking as it's ending on the spelling and have, uh, really weird meanings. Here we go. Keep this guy a little closer. Uh, we'll eat this guy. Oh, I can't just eat it. I don't think 0.88. Is that enough to fill us up? It is. Do we have any left over? We do. Okay. We really don't need as much water as I thought. Uh, this coho salmon will replace the coho salmon we just ate. And it'll be fresh. But we'll eat these bear meat first. And I think these are going to lose condition pretty dang quick because they're indoors. But as you just saw, we don't really need condition to eat it. We have level five cooking, which makes it jerky, more or less. Moldy? Oh, because it was, uh, it was at zero. Now it should be 50. Yep. These are 89 and 87. I actually probably eat this one. Yeah, we didn't need much. Four minutes until melted. Okay. We'll like have on and off water systems going, which is way too long for an hour and a half. But I guess we can like look in the nooks and crannies and see if we missed anything. How crazy would it be if we missed a heavy hammer? Doesn't look like it.
It doesn't look like there's anything behind there either. This is 34 minutes, 24. Okay. Approaching 75. Fire starting. Keep making fires. Ice fishing. We need to do this without a tip up. Uh, this will never go up. We're getting close here. Very cool. Mending. I'm surprised this hasn't gone up a lot faster than it has because I like to keep this, uh, my clothes in pretty good condition. Like 85 is. I usually don't let them get down in the 70s. Ooh, did you see that? We found a hoodie a long time ago. 45 minutes. Get out of here. This will have to be at a different time. Ooh, that's what we should do. Just right here next to our fire barrel. So we'll remember that we, we have that to cook. Do have a couple cups. Honestly. Where do we want to put this? Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we got the uh, we forgot we found uh, a wool scarf out there, beach combing. So we'll, how much time? Nine minutes. So after this nine minutes, we'll harvest that that wool scarf. Oh yeah, that's where I've been sticking all the tinder plugs. We haven't needed them. Yeah, we've got four bandages, so that's good. So many emergency stems. Okay. Definitely need to sleep for 10 hours. Maybe we won't burn all of our wood. And we won't just continue stocking this. But we've got a decent little stockpile. I do want to fast forward time so bad, but I'm trying not to do that. We don't really have much else to do. Man, I wish there was a way to, you know, fix these up. We're down below half now, and I'm sure we're going to be in a tough spot whenever we need it. Uh, lure. What do we need for a tip up? Two sticks. We have all of it. We could make another one. I'm pretty sure one of ours broke, though. And I think just... From the luck we've had, every time I have two tip-ups, one of them breaks. Like, right away. Not after a couple uses, but right away. Come on, buddy.
I've seen some really impressive come on really impressive photos of people like sorting all their stuff out and putting them in spaces all organized and I always thought that was like really cool I'm not as good as organizing I think I just don't have the patience I love to just come over here and instead stand here and watch water boil hmm speed it up 42 10 okay I think this is enough. Oh, you son of a bitch. It was like literally. I know it said um, it would not work out time wise, but I promise you there's been times where that fire lasted. God, it's it's gonna start all over too. That fucking sucks. Anyways, there's been times where it said like you know there's 32 minutes left to boil water, and where the hell is the bed at? And there's 29 minutes left of uh, the fire, and um, yeah, it works out. And that time it did not. Do we have tea? We do not have tea. None at all? None at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll drink some water. Go back to sleep. I think seven should do it. Uh, and we woke up fully rested. Nice. That really pisses me off. Sounds like a blizzard outside, too. If that's the case... Oh, there's not a door over here. If that's the case, we'll, uh, we'll just get right back to making water, I think. Good stuff. Right back to water. I want to use 46er. Use this 29er. Oh, damn. Thank you for challenge me. challenging me in the long dark. This game, uh, full of surprises. Nope, get out of there. Put it away. Forty minutes, love that. Want to start all over again. Yeah, we'll just keep that going. And then uh, about midday here, it'll the storm should go away. And then we can venture out, do our beach combing, pick up some more food. Fifty four percent. How are these guys looking? 92, 99, 89, 92. I, that surprises me. I would think that the boots would be um, just because of the joints and, and how they're moving. Maybe the knees around the pants are what's, what's given in here. I did make the boots before I made the 
pants, I'm pretty sure. No, I didn't. I made the pants first. Uh, satchel, yes. We want that extra bonus. Carrying bonus. We really use all that? Okay, let's just uh, get on with it. Could have just selected drop all, right? Not good enough for me. I think it's just easier to walk back and pick it up and then walk forward instead of turning all the way around. Come on, man. Is that another can? Is that another two cans? Hidden behind that can was a summit soda? Don't drink it right away. Okay, let's get back to this. Hour nine. When we hear the wind die down, that usually means it's uh, the end of the blizzard. What's going on outside? What is fast forward time until we get there? Ooh, that one wasn't boiled? Picked the wrong one. There you go. Melted, boiled. Okay. Another mistake. Where does... Our character get all the plastic bottles, you ask? Not sure. What I do know is that uh, this plastic hardly ever goes into the earth as intended, so sure. There's plenty of these just laying around. Woo. Be honest sounds like the weather's done and we won't have enough time for that so i'm gonna pick this up come on oh okay it's boiled nice perfect timing uh let's actually grab some food son of a gun it sounds like the wind is blowing again we got freaking six liters of water. Whatever. It's actually a beautiful day out. Okay, I don't hear nothing.
replenish our firewood. I do record a couple episodes in advance, so there's a memento cache somewhere over here that I couldn't find. You know where it's at. Leave a comment. We'll go back and grab it. This looks like a deer. Or is it a bear? I don't think it's a wolf. Could be, though. It's a wolf. That's a bear. Really have no need to shoot another bear. Besides, like... I don't even think I have a good enough fire. I could quarter him. I guess. And then we'll be on our way to making a bearskin bedroll. But that's just going to keep us in the region for a little bit longer. Whatever. There we go, get the music, get a little growl. It should help out with our archery skill. I don't think that's what a bear sounds like in real life. It sounds like a dude making bear sounds. Oh my gosh, of course. Need to drop that damn rock. Mean. How close is too close? Oh shit. Oh shit. So, one shotting that bear was not in the cards for us. We did stick him in the heart and the brain. Uh, he's a tough bastard. I would assume he will. Die somewhere out here on the ice. Then we can collect that pelt. And then we've got a cooking extravaganza ahead of us. We're going to need a ton of wood for that. I don't see these wolves. The wolves will not attack a deer, but they will uh, run across the lake for me. I don't know. I don't know either. Shh. Too easy. I'm going to let this one go. Ooh, what we do need... is to put our crampons on so in case we get too close we've we bought ourselves another split second look at that this might be the same lonely locker that i've been searching over and over and over again Uh, the second bear hide, whenever this bear decides to go down, I think we'll we'll let it cure and as long as possible, but we'll probably pick it up and take it to a new region with us. 
Oh, brand new locker. How about that? Mean. Shh. The thermal underwear I'm seeking are probably out that way. Until that bear hide cures, I think that's going to be the plan. I'll change it a little bit. Obviously, I'll go out wider. And then walk the entirety of the beach when it's good weather like this. And then grab some food. And then from our little food fishing hut, we will make our way back to the garage. And that will be our be our death loop for the coastal highway region. The bear's still alive. The bear is dead. That's pretty cool that we, uh, we got to witness that. It's a matter of time. We'll go retrieve our arrows and I think we'll get started on, on harvesting that guy. As much as we want the thermal underwear. I think we're going to be here a long time, so we're going to have plenty of opportunities, I think. I hope. How am I going to get to that? There you have. my clothes wet it's curious uh let's definitely switch these and then all that for a damn windbreaker so we now have um hypothermia affli affliction which mean me means we need to stay warm so i i'm gonna hustle i think we're gonna hang out here at misanthropes we're gonna collect all the wood around that and Son of a bitch, we don't have any food. Okay, that was a that was not a calculated risk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the arrows off of this and we're gonna go warm up before we freaking die. And the other one, yep. Thank you, Mr. Bear. You will make a wonderful bed roll. Not sure if I selected this.
I think we'll go in here and just like break a bunch of things down if we can. That uh, old man's beard scared the hell out of me. Okay, warming up pretty dang quick. I don't think there's anything here that we can actually break down, so never mind. That's what I'm talking about, the mental side of things. You don't really think about it when um, you're in a decent spot, survival-wise. This is how I usually die, by the way is I just overextend and I don't stick to the the safe way to do things. Okay. Uh food wise, actually we do have food. And we should probably eat that. Okay. Should probably drink this. Mm-hmm. Firewood wise, we've got nine sticks, which is not enough to butcher a bear. I don't think nine sticks is even going to Yeah, that's not that's not gonna get us even if we used the hacksaw and quartered it. I don't think we've got a chance out there. But once we warm up, I'm going to step outside. We're going to take this book. That'll add about 15 minutes. Uh, once we... Hypothermia. Too low, too long. Stay above freezing for 24 hours. Okay. I mean, ideally, we go start a fire and... Of course, we left our three rose hip teas. Uh, we could do two teas. Or, because we're tired as hell, we do have coffee, right? Two coffees. Okay. This is damn thing. 20 minutes. I mean, I could probably take advantage of this. I'm warm. Do we head out? Is our condition going lower? Hmm. Just prepare to sleep. I've already went out of my way to put ourselves in danger once a day. So oh, let's not uh, let's not push it. It. Mm -hmm. This will cut our time in half, roughly. Got us a little Aurora going. Which means if we had a book, we could read it. But we don't. Uh, we could. Well, we don't need this either. We don't need to repair anything. It's kind of just a wasted Aurora. We can go out and look at it, though. Hmm. 
Uh, we won't have to worry about a bear. That's for sure. An Aurora bear. Because he's right there. How freaking cool, though. We should be able to see, like, the light towers and everything. Light towers, the, uh... Uh, observation posts. I think it's right over there. Right up on, uh, about halfway up. Before we get down to freezing, let's keep that going. 12 more hours. Guess we could just sleep down here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, probably not. Not enough room. Okay, I think we have plenty of water. Let's go 10 more. See where that takes us. Midday? Close. We slept for about six, six additional hours. We did recover our condition quite a bit, which is a win. Okay, it's not crazy cold. I wonder if you uh, get down to freezing again, if it'll completely restart your 24 hours. Kind of sticks right here, though, so that's a win. Oof. God dang. We got it. We got it. Okay, we want the hide. And then we'll cook a few bear steaks. Or, you know what? If we can get two hours out of this, no way. Okay. This is a hundred percent, so I'm not even gonna light a torch. I think if we get two hours out of this, what I might do is harvest. Yeah, we can get two hours out of it. And then we put probably 75 sticks on there, so should be plenty warm. Actually, look at this. 30 minutes. Let's rip this out right quick. Okay. Love that.
take what we need. Wolf out there. Damn, still two hours on this. Do ten. Right? Still gonna be two hours. Yeah. Just gonna get some food in us. I think that's gonna be our best bet. We won't throw these on the fire. Um, we'll just harvest this guy. Come on. Damn, I don't wanna speed up time while we're out here. Okay, two hours. Let's make sure we're hydrated. Where's our carcass harvesting at? Because actually, we might not need all this meat. Uh, we need this. Carcass harvesting is already a level five. 100% frozen carcasses by hand. 30% reduction in all of this. 50% reduction in harvesting times, but... An hour 45. So two hours for all the guts. Fuck it. We've got to try. Mm-hmm. We still have an hour. Wow. And it's clear out. We're just so damn tired. But hypothermia, two more hours. Let's throw this bad boy and that bad boy. I wonder if like, even if this expires, like indoors, Can we still harvest it? Like, if I bring all of this crappy bags to... Because what are we at? 56%. If we haul this back into town, to our base... Hmm... I might I might try it. Damn, that cup of coffee didn't do dick. Huh. I think what I'll do is grab this food. Tomorrow we should be healed. And then what we're going to do is... Grab this bear meat. These quarters. Which... I mean... These are probably going to be at zero. By the time we wake up tomorrow. There's just no way I can haul these things right now. Uh, yeah, with... Basically 15 kilos, um, whatever we, we don't, we don't have the carrying capacity for that 15 kilos we normally have. So I don't think it'd be smart. We can only do them like one at a time. Uh, we do have the guts, which we will 
probably pick these up and we'll just walk them right back up here. We'll stay the night here. We'll have two bear steaks to uh, keep our well-fed bonus. And then we'll just haul these bad boys into the camp office tomorrow. Camp office, what I mean is our regional base. So that is the plan. While these are cooking, we're going to call this an episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, even with the affliction, with the hypothermia affliction, we are still surviving. We're out here doing the damn thing. Uh, and I appreciate you guys being here and, and sharing tips and all the tricks that you guys know. If you're liking the series, if you're new here, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Consider subscribing, hanging out for the long run. We're shooting for 500 days. You just saw that we went over the 75 day mark. So we are just getting started in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we've got a couple bear hides ready to be, uh, turned into a bear coat. So that's exciting for us. Um, until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for being here. And we will see you on the next episode, Vintage Interloper.